everybody aloha friday uh don't remember when the last time i put up a video a couple days ago i guess i uh, just want to give you a quick update and some of the challenges that there are okay. so got the scaffold up i took the top layer down after i put the fan up that fan was a challenge had to build a little box up there just like with the other fan and then there's all kinds of wiring I had to figure out because there's two three-way switches and a single switch that operated the old fan and I don't know how the space was wired and it's a little confusing I'm not an electrician so um, up on the windows at, as long as I was up there I uh, I cut some little black trim pieces in to kind of seal some of the edges of the windows. And then when I was up there, this wall is kind of real wavy when it's windy. So today I'm gonna to pull off all the trim boards and all, the, all that wood. And I got some straps to lag in there. And then instead of having this board right here be two pieces, I'm gonna have that be one piece. Um, and then sink some bigger screws into it. Hopefully that stiffens it up. Um, I got straps for all four of those connections and then all four of these connections. So hopefully that'll uh, stiffen it up, make it not so sketchy. And then I'm gonna put the trim on the rest of the windows, that little black piece. Uh, we don't necessarily sell that little three quarter by three quarter, so. I had to buy regular pieces and then rip them on a table saw and then spray paint them black. So that's what we got going on there. Um, these new boxes that arrived were, it's a new couch for down here. Uh, Cause I got those other couches upstairs. So we got to build that, but that's after I get everything done. As long as I got the scaffold, I'm gonna hang the new light right here, get rid of this old silly looking one. And then we got one right here. Um, but I don't know actually where the new table's gonna go. Cause we don't have it yet and we haven't ordered it or shopped for it. So I'm gonna move the light over a little bit, but I don't want it too far cause it needs to be over the table. So I'll move it over a little bit. As long as I have the scaffold here, I can roll it over here and uh, move that hook and then hang this light. And hopefully I don't have to change it. And then, yeah, this is, get this wiring and then the wiring upstairs. Cause with the fan, the old fan was hardwired. So you flip a switch and the fan comes on a different switch was the light comes on. And upstairs there was a switch just for the light on the old fan and uh, new fan is just a remote control and it's hardwired and I didn't like this because it's got little goofy batteries in there and a little tiny screw and if the batteries go dead or well, if they lose this, then there's no lights. When I say they, I mean uh, any guests that are staying here. So uh, I wanted to wire the fan differently. So it was hardwired where you just flip the switch. But I did find on Amazon and I ordered it, this exact thing that mounts to the wall that's powered by regular AC power instead of batteries. So it'll just be this on the wall. So you can come in and you hit the fan button and the light button. Oh, right now it's switched differently. So you can hit the fan button. And then the light also changes like kind of different tints and you can dim it and the fans got different speeds and all kinds of bells and whistles 
I mean, the, the down rod, that black rod that comes down, it was a foot longer than the old one, but it actually turned out pretty good because when you're up here, the fan's just kind of at eye level, so it doesn't really block any type of view that you have from, from the outside. So that's the fan, and I had to build a box just like on that one. The angle of the roof was too little, too steep for the fan to hang correctly. So working off the scaffold after bringing the chop saw, everything up up top, because going up and down, that doesn't cut it. Get it, cut it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna trim those windows out, pull all that baseboard off or that board off. I bought a new board, but it's not the same color. So I bought some stain that I'm gonna play with to try to get it to match colors. And then uh, we'll see how it looks. Should look good. And then we're still kind of contemplating what to do up here. I really wanna get a pool table. There's not really enough room. But I think if I maybe we get rid of that couch and then move that couch over to there, there might be enough room for a pool table up here still. But that couch folds out into a bed, which gives us the sleeping occupancy that we want. And if you got a pool table in the way, that's not very good. So we're trying to figure that out. We got some floor plugs, which is kind of cool. Because so I want to put like a little... Uh, little Pac-Man type of uh, arcade game and then turn this thing into like have a couple of bar stools right here. It was kind of Julie's idea. Have maybe extend this out and have like some stools here. And then I'm getting rid of all of these and I'm going to run a uh, cable railing right here and here and down the stairs. So um, it's like one eighth cable and there's these little turnbuckles. To, to tighten it up. Just basically drill through the four bars, run the cable, let's get some um, uh, little grommets and stuff for the, for the center rails, for the center post. I put the backsplash in over here. Get it all siliconed up. What else? Yeah, this is the other wall switch that is going to get abandoned. I think that's about it. I managed to stuff some 12 foot lumber in a 9 foot truck. That's a good trick. And then this is my mess for the uh, ripping those boards down for that trim. But I gotta set up a area outside so I could stain. All right, guys, I think that's uh, about everything that's new. You guys have a great weekend, aloha.